Um, forgive me for what I'm about to do, Lord. Normally when I roast people, I sort of hold back a bit because everyone deserves a second chance. But not this girl. I'll literally take all your cancer money. I'm gonna take your Make-A-Wish Foundation. I'm going to sue you for all your wigs and chemo. Try me, bitch. I'm sorry, I'm talented and you're not. I said what I said and I meant what I said. Wow. Did you just star in a movie about your own life? <laughs> because you just played yourself. Let me tell you right now, I am not holding back for this one. So, brace yourself for mini bobini mode. Hey, what's up? It's me, Evil Leo. And just to prove to you that I'm evil, let me do this. Wow, so evil. Okay, so I'm gonna get right into this one. There is a spoiled brat on the internet. Her name is like Playmate Tessie or something. And a couple days ago, my friend sent me a video about this girl making fun of someone who has cancer. I don't know if I need to say this, but that's not cool. It is not something that young girl can control. It's very serious and making fun of it makes, makes you a douchebag. To make matters worse, there is video footage of this encounter. And to make matters even worse -er, I don't think that's a word. She filmed it. I guess she thought she was in the right. Cancer? <laughs> well, you suck. Isn't that right? Five followers that I have that simp over me? This is definitely gonna sit well with the internet. Anyway, the internet did find the video and we're gonna take a look at it today. Uh, before we start the video, you might wanna start doing yoga, meditating, smoking weed, doing yoga, weed, heroin, meditating, smoking crack, anything to get your mind off the situation because you will be fuming. And if anybody knows who the girl Tess is talking to, the one who unfortunately has cancer, uh, could you please message me on my Instagram or something? So I was thinking, uh, hopefully this video does well because if we get the squirrel's account and stuff. Let's donate some money to her for having to deal with Tessie. So do let me know about that. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, good Leo told me to tell you this. Subscribe and become a big baby now because he seems to really care and like you guys. Personally, I don't care. I hope you all get rabies and I'm not taking that back. Two weeks ago, a small streamer named Tessie got into an argument with another girl over nothing. Things started to get serious when Tessie made personal comments about the girl she got into an argument with, which is the cancer comments. It is a wig. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Leukemia? Leukemia? Do you have cancer? Oh my god, do you have cancer ah oh, yes that is the voice you will be going with throughout this experience if there are any deaf people watching this video you already have the advantage on us also if you are blind you have another advantage because you don't have to look at her face so good for you guys <laughs> you are such a loser you're wearing a wig because you're bald fat you're ugly you look deformed you're poor and you have no here. Wow, I didn't know this bitch was a scientist as well. She knows very much about chemotherapy, it seems to be. <laughs> there is only one thing to do with cancer that has ever been good in humanity, and that is the show Breaking Bad. Not cancer itself, just the idea that stemmed to make that show. That's it. That is the only good thing about cancer. Everything else sucks. Don't be a pussy. Take off your wig, leukemia. <laughs> you cancer you're such a loser oh my god i can't how close do you want to be with the devil when you go to hell like why would you say this stuff is all i'm asking it's really stupid to fool yourself saying this stuff you look deformed you're poor and you have cancer no hair and your wigs crooked by the way fix that fix that fix that fix that fix that fix that when the plumbing's broken in a house she's like fix that fix that what? Fix that. I would rather sit amongst the tribe of people in Papua New Guinea that eat each other than have to listen to Fix that. Like 10 more times. I don't think I can sit through that. Or Army Hammer's house, depending on the situation at this point. So, what's it like having f***ing cancer and having to wear wigs? Ah, oh, Tessie, it probably sucks. But let me ask you a question. What's it like having a lower than functioning IQ? Tessie is the type of girl that goes outside and she's like, oh my God, this guy is crying. And someone's like, no, that's rain, you dumbass. Have you never seen that before? I mean, the, you know, the scariest question is how does it feel to have no prospects in your life after the situation? 
because that is what's happening. This video is like a public shit stain. You will not love that down. I'll tell you that much, this is your five seconds of infamy and it is already almost out the door. And the thing is, I can't even get over that voice. It's not like people are gonna simp for you because you sound like a caveman from the BC era. I have taught this ape Brutus to speak. What's more important than cancer is me being talented, me cooking rats. People pay you to be ugly and bald. No, people pay me because I'm dying. I would, oh my god, I would pay this woman to go away. Can we, can we start a petition? Like, Tessie, leave the fucking internet. I'll, we could raise our goal of five cents. Tessie, leave the internet. Go to where you belong. The Stonehenge, be with your people, okay? My, my supporters will never know that I call fat, ugly bitches losers like you. Uh, no, I'm not yeah. putting this in my video. Yeah. I'd get canceled, bitch. I'm never gonna get caught. Hi. <laughs> Me and the internet, we find out. <laughs> mm. So I guess you canceled now. <laughs> Who even are you since I'll you're literally such take all of your cancer money and like I'll see you for all your wigs and cancer money. <laughs> this is the classic privileged white girl syndrome. I'll see you for all of that therapy money. <laughs> Her lawyer's in the background, like, fuck, why did I accept this shit? What? Of course I have lawyers. I have multiple lawyers. Oh yeah, name them. Shut up! I know what you're doing and you're trying to incriminate me because I know you know exactly who I am. I'm not stupid. I'm like... <laughs> like who? Did the plastic in your face make you, you forget You know exactly- Don't worry, I got this. Yes, you do look like Kim Kardushbag, but... That's not the point. Yo, but she's kind of right. Even when Tessie dies, nothing's going to degrade her because she's literally made out of plastic. She, she's kind of like a Coke bottle, except I like what's on the inside of a Coke bottle. You know exactly who I am. I'm not stupid. Little dumb, little, little stupid, little. That's the size of your brain, little. You don't understand. When I'm evil, I go evil. So you better stop me because I'm not going to stop myself. I know mm, you've been filming the whole like time it. because you think you're gonna cancel me and get clout off of me. Never and you're trying to get me to confess. Yeah. You can't get clout off of someone who doesn't have clout. That's just science. That's that's YouTube science. Hello, my name's 16 Leo. Back to YouTube science. If you're not popular, you're not gonna get popular off of beefing someone who's not popular. Dot com. Imagine losing every ounce of your dignity so that you could gain a little infamy on the internet because you weren't good enough to be good at something so that people actually liked you. The only reason that you ever get attention is because people hate you. Imagine being that low. I always thought that if I wasn't good enough at being good, I would just try and get better at it so then I would be good eventually instead of just being shit. Like for instance, if there was no way I could make anything for myself on YouTube and I just started hating on Mr. Beast for no reason other than the fact that I knew that it was gonna get me infamy and his fans would come watch my videos. That's not fame. That's infamy. There's a big difference. It won't hold up as a career if you don't have talent. Just look at Big Ed. That's too close. No, no, no. Come on, come on, don't. Hey, no, don't. Oh, sh**, son of a oh. No, 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 dude, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And he's not even close to as bad as this person. This girl apologized, but it is the worst apology that I have ever seen, and I will show you towards the end of the video, but it is just not good. All I'm saying is you're done, son. It's over. I, I, I've I never been canceled and you're not gonna be the one to cancel me and I never will be canceled. That's true. You can't cancel someone who's that irrelevant. That's exactly what's gonna happen. She's gonna be posting and getting 30 views a video and being like, I'm still here, but nobody cares enough to cancel you because you're not relevant enough. That's, you actually, you know what? You're right, checkmate. I didn't even know you knew how to play chess. I'm pretty sure you thought those were Christmas ornaments. Hey, but listen, at least you're playing something other than yourself now. Try canceling me and I will literally take your make a wish and all your cancer money. I'll sue everything. I'll sue you for all of your cancer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> she said it, not me. I'll sue you for all of your cancer. Seriously though, obviously I don't wish that on anyone, including her. But how stupid is it to say, I'll sue you for your cancer? So you wanna take her cancer away from her? That might be the nicest thing unintentionally you've ever said in your life. Yeah, man, I'll sue you for your cancer. I'll just take it. So now I have it and you can be 
free with, with your family. I just wanted to do something nice. Oh, her brain was working too fast. Those two clogs were like, and she was like, I'll sue you for your cancer. Yeah. She just goes and swaps places with people less fortunate than her. Oh, you're hungry? I'll sue you for all of your hunger. Now I'm hungry and you're fed. Okay. Oh, you're homeless? Well, I guess my house is gone and you have it. So I guess I'm homeless and hungry. She's just like unintentionally helping save the world. If you, like, listen, I get it that you're jealous. Like, I don't have cancer. It's the lip fillers, isn't it? You know what? The skull does kind of remind me of Michael Jackson. If Michael Jackson had no talent, sat in his room all day with no pants and just a shirt, making fun of cancer patients, and had an IQ equivalent to how many hours there are left in today. Um, it's... Or no, honestly, just fix your wig. No, just fix it, because it makes... It's really looking bad. Fix your wig. It's crooked, and you need to fix your wig. Okay. That's a wig, right? It's a wag. Fix your wag. Fix your wag. Fix your wag, or I'm gonna get in my car and come over to your hearse. And then make fern of year. You would have to pay me in the hundreds of millions of dollars to take this woman out on a date. And I would take her to where she belongs. The fucking wild. Let's just read some comments on the situation while we're at it. She's everything wrong with humanity embodied into a person. Am I the only one getting annoyed of how she speaks? Her voice is so irritating. Bro, we've all banded together to hate on this woman's voice. Are you kidding me? Dude, I would rather listen to nails on a chalkboard. Or even nail horns singing the word chalkboard over hours and hours. This girl doesn't deserve the air in her lungs. <sighs> when people are saying that on YouTube comment section, you know it's bad. So you'd think this girl would apologize, right? And she did have an apology video. But she actually made it private so nobody can watch it anymore. But it was 7 hours and 37 minutes long. And it was the most sarcastic bullshit. I'm sorry you have cancer, you loser. Uh, I'm paraphrasing, but that's almost exactly what she said. And if you don't believe me, she still has a Twitter. Let's go to the Twitter. Her Twitter handle is shut up. That's what it is. And it says owner of Wallstar, Reddit, YouTube, and Twitch. Nice. She owns none of that shit. So last fake. Sorry. I don't know why she's spelling it like that. I ever give to you, not saying that word, cancer patients. So it seems like she's definitely really sorry about her actions. She even baked a sorry cake that I'm pretty sure they wouldn't even feed to Guantanamo Bay prisoners. Here's some more. I don't care about cancer. Shut the f up. Nice. Still better than all of you. Nice. F off. I have work to do. Oh, this is one of the most irredeemable people I have ever seen on the internet. Unbelievable. She also has a TikTok, and I'm not sure how she even has 500 followers, but she does. Here's what she had to say about the apology. Uh, yeah, hey, dumb bitch. I have every f***ing right to, like, do what I did and make fun of whoever the f*** I want. Why? Because I'm better than all of you, so shut the f*** up and think again loser so you know i was feeling a little sorry i didn't even know if i wanted to do this video i was like oh man i'm gonna turn into mini bobini mode and there's no holding me back but then i heard this and i was like wow who cares i got free reign because i'm better than all of you apparently the cancer i'm sorry i'm talented and you're not like literally i cannot just not be gorgeous and talented i don't really have any great comebacks for her tiktok except uh, for the fact that every time I see her face, my balls shrivel up and go straight into my body. Uh, and I'm pretty smooth down there now. So thanks, Tessie. I didn't even think that was possible. I might as well chop off my ding dong and put it in the doggy bag since I'm not gonna need it. I mean, legitimately, if the options were go on a date with Tessie or go anywhere with Bill Cosby, I'm just gonna put my hand on my drink and be like, lead the way. One of the other disturbing things on the video is the fact that when you look at the video, it says that her tip or her earnings are like $5,000, which means her fans are paying her and she does have an OnlyFans. And I think people are subscribed to it. I don't, because, because OnlyFans would be that stupid because I just cannot believe people would pay to see her do anything. I wish people would just band together and convince Summer Rae to get one. I mean, like, cause this girl is just beyond help, okay? I don't know if she can get help. I don't know if I want to help her. I don't know if anybody does. I'm sorry, I'm talented and you're not. Like, literally, I cannot just not be f***ing gorgeous and talented. Is, is she like a singer or something? Why, why does she keep saying she's talented? It's not like she has music, right? 
on a YouTube channel, right? Which I listen to, right? Whole album, right? She does. What? What the fuck? I ordered a venti matcha frappuccino and I ordered... What the fuck is that? One venti matcha frappuccino. One bagel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dumb ass bet. Set their out of bagel. So I told that thought of the best bet. Wow, I feel like Vincent Van Gogh. Not, not because of the painting. I just want to cut my ears off. It's just absolute garbage. It sounds like two people having an argument and someone just managed to put a beat over it. And that's music? Come in here and patronize you every day. If I got a question, I can fuck. Yeah, 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 well, anyway guys, that is the video. What I have learned today is very depressing. Some people on the internet cannot be saved. I didn't think I'd ever say that. I always thought everyone had hope. But I don't have hope for this person. The other thing I want to bring up <laughs> is that she cares. You know, she could play it off like she doesn't. But there's a reason you made that sorry video private. At some point, the weight of all these comments are going to weigh on your shoulders. Karma has a funny way of coming back around and biting you in the ass. If she didn't care, she would have not made that video private. She would have kept it up and been like, I don't care. But she does. That means that her little 23 IQ is telling her that at some point it is going to affect her. I'm not saying we should cancel her. I'm saying we should ignore her because she clearly wants attention. And yeah, I might make one more video on this, but after that, I'm done. I'm done. So Tessie, I hope you're proud of what you've done. And maybe the girl you were dissing isn't the best at comebacks because she didn't have to deal with a person like you for so long. But that's why I'm around. Tessie, this is the internet, baby. <laughs> why don't you make a diss track on me and watch it get two views. One view is yourself, the other view is yourself after you refresh the page. All right, guys, that's me. I've been Evil Leo. This has been Evil Fluffs. Best part of the video? We oh, I just took that shit away from you because I'm evil. Damn it. I'm too cute. She ain't gonna do no porno, you know what I mean? Yeah, she looks pretty loose.